Welcome back to Proteus. Let's continue on to Wretch. An old sewage treatment plant that has been overrun by chaos monsters. Five secrets and 128 enemies. Oh yeah, and now we have this shotgun to try out. One shot kills him. I really don't need to use the quad burst. I guess the quad burst is really just for harder opponents like those doggies and whatnot. Entry denied. How wretched. I'm gonna quad. Quad, quad do him. Was that necessary? No. Actually, is it necessary? How many shots does it take? One. Just one? <laughs> okay, just one. <laughs> At least when you're up close. Hmm. Would I survive that fall? Or am I just going to end up going down there anyway at some point? I think I'd survive that fall. It's really not that far. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Shit, Jesus Christ. fast can I fire two rounds? Decently fast. Is that faster than just using this shotgun? It's like the same speed, really. I think I can fall down even further. We're actually kind of low on ammo, aren't we? Yeah. Ugh. Jesus. Good amount of ammo now. This is a perfect time to unload all four barrels. Quad barrel? What was that sound? And what is that? 
I guess that's the sewage, right? This is a sewage processing plant. Ugh. Max is 10 ammo. Wow, it's not much. It must be powerful then. Hmm. Oh, I think when I press the button, it's going to raise this bridge, probably. So I don't think I need to try to see if I can jump up there. Okay, let's test this thing out. So just left clicking. Just fires a rocket like you'd, like you'd expect. Just makes that noise when I right click. That's probably what the prompt said about it, detonating a rocket. So does that mean you can detonate it, detonate it mid-air with right click? Yeah, okay. Can I blow it up so close that I hurt myself? Let me try. Yes, you can. Now I know. <laughs> okay, that's powerful. That's great for crowd control. See how it does on one of those? Just completely killed one in one hit. Shouldn't use it on enemies like that, though. a weapon? Like, so far, the first weapon we've gotten in each category has been the first one in the list, right? Pistol is the first one that used pistol ammo. The shotgun was the first one that used shotgun ammo. But the first rocket launcher I got is the second one in the list.
That looks like it would hurt if it touched me. Are they going to get hit by it? Yes. Oh, did I disable it? Yes. Oh, I think I have to re-enable it to get out of here, though. It froze in an awkward position. Wait, can I re-enable it? Does not appear so. like one of those terminals where I read a text message in a secret. Like in a secret location. Oh. Ah, yeah. I thought that looked like it. We are one week away from launching our first dimensional portal. I hope it's just my nerves, but I keep hearing things. Voices in my head. Metal scraping in the air vents. Soon I'll wake up the rest of the crew from deep sleep. Just a few more days. Look at them angrily pacing. Still hurt me? I thought it was gone. You know, I really don't know how these nexus points work exactly because I haven't died yet. Like, are they... Is it literally making a save just when you touch them? Or is it more like, that's where you respawn, but your progress all stays, you know? I don't know. Because if it is literally making a save when I touch it, then actually it would be ideal to, like, clear out the room and get all the items and then touch it. But so far I just haven't been worrying about it. We'll see what happens when I die. I'm gonna die at some point, for sure.
Ooh, there's rockets down here. And an ore fragment. But yeah, this looks like a shortcut. Or not a shortcut, a secret to me. Yes! That puts me at 2 out of 5. Which is not great. To be honest, because I think there's not much left to this level. like if I get up there I could jump onto it and I see something glowing up there I think health or something I think they lead their shots the height to get up there. Oh, I probably jumped from that. Ah. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Well, it'd be even easier to get up there from there. <laughs> Three out of five? Three out of I love the soundtrack. Oh, it's so good. There we go. We've got our access back. Oh, a couple just got squished there. <gasps> That's the exit. We're missing three enemies and two secrets. Eh, not bad. I seem to pretty much always fall at 60% or 3 out of 5 secrets on all the levels I've done so far. What's next?
Oh, three choices. Although one looks like it's locked. Why is it locked? Collect runes to unlock new levels. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Well, this way to the right continues on to other things, whereas this one down here seems to be self-contained. So let's do the self-contained thing. It's a trial. Trial shotgun. Hit all targets in under one minute to collect the ore prize at the end. Timing your reloads and accuracy are key to success. Interesting. Why is it called trial shotgun? Do, do you have to use the shotgun? Where does it... Wait. It doesn't seem to say anywhere on the screen how, how many targets there are. But I know I have a minute time limit. And there's also... It doesn't show me the time limit either. There were there were a whole bunch of ore fragments there. Uh Are there secrets in the map? I'm a little bit confused about how that works. And do I really have to use a shotgun? I'm gonna try using a different weapon. <laughs> Just to shoot the targets. There's three secrets? Like, do I actually have a time limit? I don't see one. I'm gonna just take my time and experiment. So let's not use a shotgun. I mean, the game didn't yell at me or anything. Yeah, I, I, do I really not have to use a shotgun? <laughs> what? This makes no sense. Wait, that ore fragment respond? I'm wondering about these secrets. Kind of looks like there might be one up there, but I'm not exactly sure how to get it. Oh, down there too. Wait, playing the level again, I think reset it. I think that's why it reset. Otherwise, I think I would get to keep the ore fragments. Is there anything the other way? No. secrets over there. Both down and up, I guess. It's just a 
bunch of rockets? I'm not really sure how this is useful. I guess to bank them for later missions? It's certainly not useful in this mission. the last secret. Hmm. How do I get all of those ore fragments? Maybe it like only unlocks if you beat it in under a minute? And with a shotgun? Maybe? <laughs> I'm very confused about this. Oh, wait, I see it. Nope, there's a way. Well, I'm not going to replay because I don't want all those to come back. Instead, I'm going to accept. And then re-enter it, I guess? Hit all targets in under one minute to collect the ore prize at the end. I guess you just get some extra ore if you do it under a minute. It's really weird that it doesn't even show a timer. This feels very half-baked. Like, this part still feels like it's in early access. Three stars times ten. It shows... Okay. I don't know what that means. Yep, four fragments did not respawn. Oh no! Fuck. <laughs> well, it's definitely under a minute, right? Yeah, 47. Okay, so did I get a super special ore fragment? It... There was no indication that I got anything extra. What? <laughs> I don't understand. The timer means nothing, it feels like. Got all the ore fragments. Ended it in under a minute. 34 seconds. It's not even difficult to do it in under a minute. Like, not even close. What a bewildering map. It just feels kind of pointless. I shouldn't have rated it good. That's actually not really a good map. It's... yeah. It's just kind of pointless. Other than just giving you a bunch of ore, which, I mean, thanks. Genesis Part 1. Ooh, we have a multi-parter. The first battle for the mortal dimension took place here. This crater is a reminder of the destructive power caused by the Chaos Forces.
Four secrets, 120 enemies. Get in there. from here. Does that hurt? It doesn't. I'm always curious in games when there's a small fire source like that, you know, like a candle or a campfire. I always gotta test it. I'm like, does this hurt? <laughs> sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of 50-50. The crater. Oh yeah, this whole thing is a crater, huh? That's really cool. It looks like a force field stopping us from leaving. Almost like the base or ship or whatever this is has like sealed itself. You know, I don't know about you, but I think this is feeling too easy. Let's go to very hard. I haven't died once. I mean, come on. Ooh, I want you. And I got you. Well, that way looks like the critical path, so let's go this way. Ah. Oh. Jesus Christ. I thought that thing was going to smash me.
I think I missed a secret up there? Where even was it? I guess it was behind that. Damn it. Maybe you, you weren't meant to get in there. Maybe that was supposed to be, like... A, uh, you know, taking the chair out from under you kind of thing. Kind of literally. <laughs> Knock it back up. Oh, I can. Yes. Oh, they put that there on purpose. Maybe you're supposed to reach it from here. Ugh. That might be doable. Let me see. Is there a better way? Yeah. You just gotta kind of like angle it around a little bit. So wait, if that's a critical path, what's what's this way? Don't want to go down just yet. Did I actually get everything from here? Looks like it. Yeah, I kind of want to replay this map just to see if I can get inside of that secret chamber and also go the other direction up there. my way forwards. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I thought I saw something back there. A little... I saw a little lip. A little ledge. Can I fit in there? Ooze my way in. Oh! That is three out of four secrets. Nice! I'm already at 75%. Breaking my 60% streak. Curse. Probably not worth it. I actually wanted my shotgun, I just went to the wrong one. Proteus portal detected. Oh. Goodbye. been aching to use that. Missing one enemy and one secret. Yeah, that's really good. It looks like it gives you the difficulty score of the lowest difficulty that you had set on the map at some point. So kind of lowest common denominator sort of thing, which makes sense. Obviously it'd be ridiculous to set it to easy for the whole map and then set it to super hard at the end and get a high score. But yeah, I think I'm going to play that again off camera and I'll bring you back when I get to one of those points where I think I can do something new that I missed. Plasma rifle available for purchase. 
Cool. So, okay, first thing. I went down that way before. Did I ever go this way? I don't think I did. Oh! Yeah, there's the final secret. It says one out of four, because... Hmm. Actually... Ow! Shit, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I am on very hard. It's kind of confusing. I wish it showed you how many secrets you'd found before, although it also kind of makes sense. The renewables in the secrets will respawn when you replay it, like health packs and whatnot. But the rune fragments and whatever... Not rune fragments, the ore fragments wouldn't. Eh, it gets kind of confusing. Anyway. That is all the secrets, which means the other thing thing probably isn't a thing, but let's go check. Okay, I think it was this. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. Oh, I died for the first time. Okay, let's see what happens. Continue for Nexus Point. So, yeah, are all the enemies still killed? The items don't come back. Yeah, it purely resets your location. Everything else is as it was before. Yeah, that's it. So there's no need to wait till I clear out a room to hit a nexus point. It just gets me a closer respawn. Okay, yeah, the very final thing that I wanted to look at... Is what was... Oh, this is the other side of that when you fall down. Okay. It all makes sense now. Let's check out the shop again. Oh, and now we can do the rocket launcher one. Wait a minute, do I not have ammo for it? I don't. Well, I know I can detonate rockets. So far, actually, I haven't really needed to at all. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can buy something. Well, I already bought that. Is this just to give me more ammo? We can afford the plasma rifle. Anything else? Tier four, three, three. Yeah, tier two stuff is also locked. But yeah, plasma rifle. Heck yeah, give me that. I keep seeing energy ammo everywhere. Oh, I love how it looks. Look at all those wispy particles coming out of it, like blue flame. And that crackling sound. Okay, it is the first one in the group of plasma guns. <laughs> That's good to see. Let's see how it works. Left click. Okay, so very much like the um, Doom plasma cannon or whatever the heck it's called. Super fast rate of fire. Each orb takes one energy. And what about right click? Gets more accurate. Wait. Wait, what was that? It takes one ammo to shoot it, but that, I don't think that really does any damage. It just puts this aimer thing. Oh, so you can focus fire on a target that maybe is moving. I'm assuming if you, like, attach that to a moving target, it will also move with it. Because it kind of seems like it's a tag. It doesn't turn super sharp, so you can't, like, tag something and then shoot like this and have it hit it. But, I mean, why would you? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that could be really good for fast opponents, which so far I haven't really found any fast opponents that are hard to hit, but, I mean, we'll probably see some enemies like that at some point. Yeah, 100% of the secrets. It's weird to rate the shop. Like, I don't know, the shop's great. Please don't ban me. This seems to be the only shop in these goddamn wastelands, so... I'm not gonna give them a bad review on Yelp. If I get banned from there, I die. 
All right, well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we are going to do Genesis Part 2.